Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Cage Face Case 1 The Mine. And this is effectively going to be like a remake to the game that I played about a year ago called Cage Face. Where I'm going to be playing as a teenager going into a mine and coming face to face or face to cage face with a mysterious entity. If you want to get this for yourselves, look down below in the description because the links and the details are all going to be down there. Am I right? Now, much like the first version of this game, there are various things down here on the desk that I can interact with. I think we should start with this one right here. The Investigator's Journal. So, day one. Got a new case recently. A woman came into my office looking distraught, begging me to help find her grandpa. Apparently, he'd been missing for three months, and the cops had dropped their search, as they usually do. She was getting desperate, so she decided to hire me. It's always nice to be someone's last resort. I don't normally take cases like this. It's pretty run-of-the-mill, and I've had my fill of breaking bad news to people. But when she told me how much she was willing to drop for this, well, I couldn't say no. So, day three now. Finally managed to get into the grandfather's home. The trouble was worth it though, because I managed to find a box he'd kept hidden deep in his wardrobe. It had a lot of odd stuff in it. A newspaper, some documents, and a VHS tape that you definitely couldn't just pick up without some credentials. I have no idea how he managed to get a hold of half these things. Either he has friends in high places, or friends in low places that know how to get things they shouldn't have. There were also some notes that matched his handwriting, and a wooden box with a combination lock. The most bizarre thing, though, was a sketch of a strange humanoid creature, large in stature, with some sick-looking contraption for a head. This search definitely helped me out, but I feel it's definitely brought up more questions than it's answered. I'll have to keep looking. Right, so all these things on this table are the things that this guy found, so this is the sketch. There you go, that's Cage Face. A miner with a cage for a face. A bird cage with a, a dead canary inside it. It's a cool design, I like it. Uh, there's also this newspaper about the Blackstone Mines, which were closed back in the 1800s and had been recently reopened, had become home to a horrible tragedy just this week. Two teenagers who have declined sharing their identities snuck into the mines to engage in vandalism when one was killed and the other was hospitalized with an as of yet unknown illness. Local police are unsure whether this was accidental or if foul play was involved, but the incident has halted the mine's reopening. We might just have to close it up again, the mine supervisor said to us in an interview. Oh, what a shame, how sad. Uh, we got the box for the VHS that I think we're going to be watching. Mine incident survivor. An autopsy report. And this would be the box with the combination lock on it. So, yeah. Uh, I regret the things I did when I was young. And as I become old and grey, I still seek an answer to what I've done. I don't think the emptiness in my heart will ever feel full if I don't pay for what I did. Some sort of clue, but I can't really make any sense of it right now. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. And I'm not going to attempt this 999 more times, so... Right, let's take a look at this, shall we? So, here we go. Normal mode. So, there's autosaves, and the illness progresses at the standard rate. Okay, and this is normal mode. Alright. <laughs> well, here we go. Hope you enjoy it. Alright. So, let's start with the events that happened in that mine, if you feel you're able to. Me and my bud had just graduated from high school, and we were soon going to be leaving for college. We couldn't wait. We'd finally get to leave that dump of a town once and for all. But we also kind of wanted to leave our mark there, you know? So, my friend knew about this shut down mine they are reopening for use. The miners were going to work on it a bit in the morning and take the rest of the day off, so we figured we could sneak in at night and tag the place. So, the time came. But it turned out my flashlight was old and pretty faulty. My dad did hunting though, and he legit had a night vision scope. I figured he wouldn't notice it was gone. When I got to the mine, my friend wasn't there. I figured he'd just gone in without me is all. Turns out I was right. He used the ladder to get over some big metal gate. I went in the same way he did and started looking for him. And this is where the game begins. Look at all those controls. Okay. Alright. Fairly typical. Night vision scope, right mouse button. Flashlight, middle mouse button. There's a UI button. Um, you can run through unlocked doors without stopping if you have enough stamina. Alright. Okay, let's get going. I'm looking forward to this. Alright, here we are then. So, can I leave? No. <laughs> Such a shame. Such a shame. What's this? 
In the case of a power outage, use the backup generator located in the section between the east and west areas. Okay. Right, so we need to get the power back. I see. East and west areas, you say? Okay. Well, the west area is this way. It's the east area that way? Looks like I'm going to find a storage room that way. Area keys? Any keys? No keys. But we do have another note. Uh, current mine maintenance. To all mine restoration workers, I want it to be perfectly clear what we're doing here. This comes straight from the supervisor, so make sure you commit all this to memory. Our current job is to install new lighting fixtures, fit new metal doors and electric systems, put up signs marking any dangerous areas, and prepare for cleaning and reopening those collapsed tunnels. You might notice some items left here from when the mine was opened back in the 1800s. Supervisor made it very clear. If it's not in the way, leave it alone. We'll be taking care of those items later, so don't get any funny ideas. Oh, you know me. I don't get any funny ideas. Oh, here we go. This is the east area, but uh, the door has a padlock. I'll need a key to open it. Right. Okay. Um, there you go. This is the night vision scope, and I can zoom in with it. Lovely. Yeah, it seems a lot better than the flashlight. Let's go left, shall we? Yeah. Oh, man. This flashlight. It is a good thing you packaged your father's night vision scope. Yeah, this is a lot better. Right, let's follow this track here. Oh, hang on. Oh, there you go. This is the storage room, but it's been boarded up. And I can't get these boards off by hand. So we're looking for like a crowbar or something? Another note. No one reads the reports around here, so I'll put this up here. After putting away a jerry can, I noticed the center support frame snapped, and that ceiling could come down at any moment. So to make sure no one wanders in there and gets badly injured, I barred the door. If there's anything you were keeping in the storage room, just wait until we've properly inspected and secured it. Well, there's probably something in there that I'm going to want. But, uh, yeah. Need to find that crowbar first, right? Okay, um... Let's go left. What's that that I just had? It's not a canary, is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to hug the left wall and see what happens, really. Okay, collapsed tunnel this way, apparently. We'll be collecting supplies to help remove the debris from the collapsed tunnel. I know the supervisor said otherwise, but I still think we should get some proper gear to test if there's any toxic gases around here. You can never be too careful with these old mines. No, you can't. I wonder if that's got anything to do with the illness. Oh! Okay, we've got, uh, we've got fuel storage here. Oh, but this is locked with a combination lock. Are you kidding me? Okay. Three digits. Um, I don't know. I don't know right now. I do wonder if it's going to be the same combination for that box, though. Yeah, maybe. So, collapse tunnel. Is this just a dead end? Looks like it goes quite a ways. Alright. Oh, no, hang on. It's not just a dead end. Ooh. Oh, is that my friend? Holy sh... He's dead. I don't know what the hell did this to him, but I'm not about to sit around and find out. That metal door is blocking me, though. How am I going to get out? Maybe you have something that can help me out. Sorry, buddy. Right. Oh? Oh, I see! It's like Hatch. We have to commit to searching through something. Or someone, like a friend. But I did find the east area key. For the padlock on the door? Alright. Won't be dual wielding the flashlight by the looks of it. Anything in the box? Hang on. Uh, me! <laughs> okay. Alright, well, there's somewhere to hide. And uh, I'm fairly sure I will be using this at some point, but not right now. Not right now. Let's get out of this. Anything else? No crowbar? No? Okay, well, maybe I can find a crowbar in the east area. Can't go through there. Right, okay. Yeah, so far, so good. I think I'm preferring this one over the uh, the first Cage Face game, quite honestly. What's this? Oh, this is the west area. Which apparently is unlocked, but something must be keeping it locked from the other side. A barricade on the other side of the door or something? Hmm. Right, so down this way. Don't know where that goes, but uh, let's just stick to the left, shall we? All right. Uh, okay, so he he did actually manage to tag the place before he died. 
The air's starting to feel real heavy, and I think I just heard a bird again. I should get out of here real fast. Yeah. Is this the... This is the beginning, isn't it? So this is the east area. Here we are. There you go. Nice. Alright, what we got here? Another box to hide in. Uh, I'm looking around for tools. Crowbar, hammer, something like that. That might help. A saw. Okay. What we got here? What the... Where the... Oh, jeez. Okay, where the hell did he come from? Fuck me. Okay, right. I'm going. Uh, that... That's my stamina bar, I take it. Okay, it looks like I can run for a while, at least. Bloody hell. Uh, okay, I think he just walked back into the east area. Well, that's where I want to go. That's where all the tools are stored, right? <laughs> okay. He literally just popped out of nowhere, though, right? Huh. He must be up there somewhere. Hmm. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. Right, so what we got here? Oh, here we go. This is the backup generator, but it needs to be topped up with gas. Right, yeah, it's in the red right now. I need an ignition key to start it. Okay. Got something down here? Okay. Do note that the generator is mostly around in case we have a power outage and we need to get the front gate open. It needs an ignition key and it uses special fuel and won't take anything else. Both of those can be found in the fuel storage room. The code is Young Waning Crescent Waning Gibbous. Keep an eye on the time. Young Waning Crescent Waning Gibbous. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Yes! Alright, so hang on, hang on. Uh, waning Crescent Waning Gibbous, there's Young. So what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right. New is zero. So there's ten in total. So is is young one? Uh, waning crescent? Yep, I think that is going to be eight. And then waning gibbous? Well, that is going to be six, I believe. Okay, so is that it? Is it one eight six? Is it one eight six to uh, to get into that room? I certainly hope so. I cannot believe I managed to read all that and stay alive. My goodness. Oh shit. <laughs> I think I spoke too soon. Fuck me. Right, this way. Oh, oh. Right, it was a hammer. It was a hammer. Okay. Alright, right. Oh, he's back there. Um, I think I actually just ran past the door I wanna I wanna try. Let's see. Fuel storage. Let's have a look. Is it in fact 186? It is! Awesome, awesome. Okay, somewhere else to hide. Good, good, good. A dirty newspaper. Police this week found the bodies of two men in the something subway, identifying it as someone and someone. A correspondent for the precinct states that the MO is very similar to the something death of a still unidentified something man on the something freeway tunnel, and a warning that this may be the sign of a serial killer despite the something distance between the two incidents. Some sources have dubbed him as the Tunnel Man, as speculation on these deaths has been mounting. Right, okay, so maybe he's not just in this mine. Generator key? I found the generator key, right. This fuel... Okay, right. I just need something to put it in. Didn't we see mention of a jerry can somewhere? And we've got the, um... We've got the hammer. We've got the hammer. I wonder if it is the hammer that's gonna take those boards off of that door. That was back here, wasn't it? Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I much prefer this over the uh, over the other one. So let's see. Old hammer? Now we have to commit to this. There we are. Okay. Let's just close this door. Oh yeah. It has broken. Hopefully uh, it doesn't break and kill me. Um, somewhere else to hide. Ah! A jerry can! An, well, it's an empty jerry can, but I can change that. Uh, I think that's all we're going to find here. Right. So let's see if we can get back to that fuel storage room and fill up.
Here we are. I'm- Ooh, I'm- I'm unwell. I'm very unwell when I'm getting chased. Bloody hell. Okay. It seems I can fairly easily outrun him. If I've got enough stamina. So I'm trying to keep that pretty full. Where did he go? I like that I can hear where he is. Oh shit. <laughs> Not well enough though. Through here. Okay. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide. Is he coming? Oh, yep. Yeah, he's coming in. And he just walked through the wall. Right. He has that power. That's how he appeared in the middle of nowhere, right? He came out of the wall, and he just did it again. Oh! I think he knows that I'm talking about him. Oh, boy. And now he's all the way over to the left from the sounds of it. Yeah. Mad. Okay. We're getting out of here. Oh, shit! Okay! Right. Oh, this flashlight is terrible. It's a really good thing that I've got this. Okay. Right. Around here. Go to the left. I Yeah, I'm, I'm even more unwell. Go on, in here. Come on. Close this up. Okay, so here we are. This is where we're going to fuel up. I just need something to put it in. There it is. Right, okay, so it's now a full jerry can. So, can I just go straight back through? Or is he sort of guarding the area? He doesn't appear to be here. It sounds like he's quite a long way away, actually. There you go. You can see the fuel going up. Come on, come on! Okay, and the key... Right, okay. Oh shit. Oh boy, right. Well, there you go, the, the power's on, we got some lighting back. Maybe we can actually see him in the light. Oh shit. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that, actually. He got a little too close. Oh no! Oh! Oh damn. To be honest. I kind of like that I died because I got to see that artwork. That's pretty cool. All right, well, let's go back. The game has been auto-saving, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Load last save. There we go. So, when I started the generator, maybe? Let's see. Uh, what have I got? Oh, I need to fill the jerry can again? Oh, bugger me. Okay. Well, that's fairly easily done. Ooh. Does he know where I am? I don't think he does. Let's keep it that way. Come on, come on! Okay. I got the full jerry can. And we're just gonna put this. Fuck! <laughs> he does seem to lurk around the areas that I need to go to. I think he knows that, you know? Right. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Alright, hang on. If I go in this way. Okay, he's not in front of me, I don't think. So, full jerry can, come on. Nice. And then the ignition key again. Okay. Right. Now, let's see if we can get that door open and leave. Here we are. There you go. Right. This time, I'm making it out. There you go! Once I got the gate open, 
I got out of there as quickly as possible. I couldn't help but glance back though, but that thing was gone. Nowhere to be seen. I didn't feel like sticking around, so I just kept running and made my way home. It was late as hell, and my parents had noticed I was gone, so they were up and ready to chew me out for it. But they forgot about that pretty quickly when they saw the state I was in. I was in shock, and at some point, I even started puking. You have to understand that the events you described are rather extraordinary. You might have been in shock, or perhaps the mine had residual gas that affected your mind. Your monster could have just been a regular man. I wasn't imagining things, damn it! There was a damn monster in there! Listen, I understand that you're very stressed right now, but there are much more reasonable explanations than that. I knew you wouldn't believe me. There's some kind of weird creature in those mines, and if you're all smart, you'd be telling everyone to stay away from them. Hmm. There you go, that's how case one comes to an end. That was the mine. And honestly, yeah, I'm looking forward to case two. I'm also looking forward to opening that box on the table. There are a few keywords in that little clue that I think that clock might be able to help us with. So yeah, I'm going to take a look at my footage and then I'm going to see if I can open that box using what I find, alright? Yeah, I regret the things I did when I was young and as I become old and then, yeah, in my heart will ever feel full. So it's young, old, and full, okay? So young is one, old is nine, and full should be five. So it, it, it should be one, nine, five. There you go, we've got the box open to find a gun and a storage unit key. Hang on. Bank robbery evidence, exhibit A, okay. Gun found in the sewers, apparently. Can I not take any of this? No? Is this new? Oh! If you're reading this note, it's fairly likely I'm no longer around. If you've been following my clues, then you're probably wondering why I'm not just giving all the answers in one go. You see, all this information I've collected over the years is incredibly important to me. Precious, even. And I want to make darn sure that if someone finds my paper trail and is willing to put the effort in to follow it, you've either got the care and respect for the evidence I'm looking for, or you're just tenacious enough that you might as well. I've been hunted by this thing my whole life, and I've been hunting for proof and answers. By now, it's probably no secret that my methods haven't been entirely legal, but I just can't bring myself to let that get in my way. There's a monster out there, and I need to make sure everyone knows it. If you've come this far, then I'm sure you won't mind going a little deeper, and maybe you can find the clues that will warn the world about this beast. Sounds like that's going to lead us into Cage Face Case 2. But this was Case 1, The Mine, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. Let me know what you thought about this one, alright? Overall, I think this is a definite improvement over the first initial version of Cage Face, where, I think I said it at the time, it was a lackluster, underutilized game. There wasn't actually much of a game there. You ran into the mine to the very end and you ran back out. Cage Face chased you and you could easily outrun him. And I tried to employ the same tactic in this game, and I quite clearly failed. So, uh, yeah, Cage Face in this game is much more of a threat. And this is much more of a game because of the story, the lore, the environment, the items that you need to find, the puzzles that you need to get on with. And yeah, Cage Face being a threat, that's the biggest one, I think. Um, he's a dirty cheater in this game, and he can just come out of any wall that he sees fit whenever he wants. But because of that, you need to be wary of it, you need to worry about it, and you need to be on your toes. And yeah, that causes a great deal of tension, and what with your terrible flashlight and the okay night vision scope that you can't always use, it, it works out pretty well. So, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed Cage Face Case 1 The Mine. I think you've done very well, Alex, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to a case too. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. It's always nice to be someone's last resort. Oh man, this flashlight. It's not just a dead end. Ooh. What we got here? What the? Where the? I managed to read all that and stay alive. My goodness. Oh shit. <laughs> I think I spoke too soon. Here we are. I'm- Oh, I'm- He has that power. That's how he appeared in the middle of nowhere, right? He came out of the wall and he just did it again. Oh.
Maybe we can actually see him in the light. Oh shit. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that actually. Oh!